Hello and welcome back to EFD, where today we are looking at five youngsters who haven't quite made it into their parent club's first team, but are smashing it on loan. Five, Mason Mount. At the time of writing, the Premier League teams have around 150 players out on loan. Responsible for just under a third of that number is Chelsea, whose loan army is 40 players large. High expectations for immediate success don't allow managers at the bridge much of a chance to bed in, let alone risk calling up youngsters to test drive in their squad. However, letting go of their own exciting young talent like Callum hudson Adoy and instead favouring tried and tested by someone else products leaves Chelsea hounded by the fans, pundits and the media. Their young stars are forced to seek regular first team minutes elsewhere and one star at doing so is 19-year-old Mason Mount. Training at Cobham since the age of six, Mount was the under-18 captain and a regular in the reserve side before his first loan sent him to the Netherlands with the Tess. The move abroad proved successful, scoring 14 times and assisting 10, and was even voted as the club's player of the season. Not enough to turn Sarri's head, the midfielder is spending the 18-19 campaign at Frank Lampard's Derby County. The teenager has become a regular starter at Pride Park, with 24 championship starts this season. From central midfield, Mount has contributed to four goals and two assists in the league so far, and on average contributes 2.2 key passes every 90 minutes for the Rams. Life in the Midlands started exceptionally, scoring five in his first 11 games, earning him a call-up to Gareth Southgate's England squad in October, suggesting that the three Lions coach sees the youngster with just a single under-21 cap suitable for the very top level. At 19, Mount does have a while to finally gain a senior cap for his schoolboy side, contracted to the Blues until 2021. Maybe Chelsea need to look closer to home for replacements for their outgoing players. 4. Ryan Kent To Chris Hamill's despair, in the final game of 2018, Rangers beat Celtic in the Old Firm derby for the first time in over six years. Steven Gerrard guided the girls to their landmark victory as everyone started to take him more seriously as a manager of the future. But we're looking at emerging talent on the pitch rather than in the dugout, in the form of Liverpool loanee Ryan Kent. Much like Lampard at Derby, Stevie G has used his connections to land the 22-year-old services for a season. Five loan moves in as many seasons, Kent has finally found his feet and has become a prominent figure at the Ibrox, appearing 12 times in the Scottish top flight, including a start and an excellent performance in the old firm. After a series of less promising campaigns, it's about time the Englishman settled. Unlike other English talent, Kent's move to the Bundesliga wasn't a glittering success, making just six appearances in 2017-18. And clocking up just 10 during his Bristol City stint, the move to the SPL has been the most fruitful since 1617 in Barnsley. Having added three goals to his tally this season, he has already matched his best ever output, as well as two assists in the league. Consistent under Gerrard, the midfielder might finally be proving he could be worth a pun by Jurgen Klopp. However, Rangers are currently in talks with Kent's parent club to secure him beyond the summer, as they hope he'll continue to use the Scottish side as a vehicle for much-needed experience. Whether or not he makes a transfer to Scotland permanent, Ryan Kent has joined Harry Wilson on Liverpool's list of future options, with his form above the border speaking for itself. 3. Dean Henderson Unlike some of the other names on this scout report, it's unlikely that you've heard much about Manchester United's Dean Henderson. The 21-year-old goalkeeper first joined the Red Devils at 14, after spending six years with Carlisle United. Having worked up the ranks at Carrington, Henderson became a starter in the under-18 side in 2013. In 2016, he was called up to the senior squad due to an injury crisis, where he sat on the bench of an FA Cup match against Shrewsbury Town. Unfortunately for the shot stopper, that is as close as it has come to first team football at Old Trafford, without a single cap for the senior side and four loan spells instead. After an impressive performance as Shrewsbury's number one in 1718, he moved up a tier securing a switch to championship side Sheffield United for the 1819 campaign. Currently sat third in the English second flight, the Blades are just four points from league leaders' leads, and Henderson is a leading force in their bid for promotion. So far this term, the youngster has kept an impressive eight clean sheets, more than double managed by Manchester United's number one, David De Gea. Obviously facing less formidable attacks and supported by a more contextually competent defence, a comparison with the Spanish number one isn't exactly helpful, but it does show that Henderson might be closer to a call-up than you think. 
As a team, Sheffield United concede 11.5 shots per game, just two more than table-topping Leeds and three fewer than second-place Norwich. Pair that with Henderson's 2.4 saves per 90, 0.4 higher than lead stopper Bailey Peacock Farrell, and their defence looks ready for the promotion fight. Time spent in the United youth setup has even instilled Henderson with a Red Devils esque confidence. Anticipating his side's promotion, he stated that Cream rises to the top. Normally, we'd be slating the arrogance, but with an assist already on the keeper's tally, even we don't blame him. The Bramall Lane regulars might be calling for the keeper to make his move permanent. It could make sense for United to give a chance to their youth and replace 31-year-old Sergio Romero with Henderson as De Gea's understudy. 2. Reese Nelson Jadon Sancho's sassy rejection of Pep Guardiola's tutelage, followed by his brilliance in the Bundesliga, has grabbed the headlines, leaving Reese Nelson's successful switch to Germany to go a little bit more under the radar. The Arsenal teenager swapped North London for South West Germany and a reserve side for regular football, joining Hoffenheim on loan this season. Nelson, who's made just three appearances for the Gunners, has become a very lethal prong in Nagelsmann's attack. So far this term, the youngster has made 13 appearances, albeit eight from the bench, and scored six Bundesliga goals to help Hoffenheim into seventh place at the time of writing. Dreams of becoming an Arsenal legend, Nelson has admitted that going on loan wasn't his first choice, with a chance to work with the bully's youngest ever coach encouraged him to take the plunge. Brought in as a replacement for ex-Arsenal man Serge Gnabry, the Englishman has praised his 31-year-old coach for his willingness to give young players a go and thanked his manager with his virtuoso form. In November, a peak in his play saw him average a goal every 53 minutes, the third quickest in Europe. While his form has been moving in peaks and troughs, per 90 minutes he still contributes to over one key pass, 1.4 dribbles and attempts 1.7 tackles. Really, it looks like the Gunners would have struggled to find a more suitable place for the prospect to develop than under Julian Nagelsmann. Are you watching, Unai? 1. Ola Aina Unsurprisingly, we have another name from Chelsea's books, Ola Aina taking the top spot. The 22-year-old fullback, who already has two FA Youth Cup medals and a UEFA Youth League win in his locker, has been killing it on loan at Torino. With a number of offers on the table after his season with Hull City, Aina opted for a switch to Syria to work under Walter Mazzari rather than collect dust in the Blues' bench after picking up just 17 minutes of football pre-season. The Chelsea outcast has impressed in Turin having earned a slot in the starting lineup, starting 12 games and a further four appearances from the bench after injury struck Lorenzo Di Silvestri onto the sidelines. Extremely versatile, able to play on either flank of a five-man midfield, the Nigeria international has slotted seamlessly into the former Napoli man's preferred 3-5-2 setup. The ever-improving player has recorded an average of 3.6 tackles and interceptions per 90 minutes in the Italian top flight, as well as a total of 2.3 dribbles completed the game. Having exceeded his pre-season expectations, the Maroons are keen to exercise their 10 million euro purchase option at the end of the season. But Aina has made it clear he is keen to fight his way into Sally's squad, so Aspilicueta and Zappa Costa should be looking over their shoulders. So those are our five players who are killing it on loan this season, but have we missed anyone else out? Let us know in the comments below and we'll try and check them out as well. Who knows, maybe we'll do a part two later down the year. If you've enjoyed this, why not check out Stat Wars The League where the final games are happening, the relegation battle between me and Jackson and the winners between Pato and Chris. As always guys, make sure you like the video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.